sketching polynomial functions. So let's see how this looks on the calculator, just to check ourselves. I go into y equals, and for time, I already put the equation in, x to the third plus 2x squared minus x minus 2. Now I'm going to graph it. This is my standard viewing window. Remember, positive 10, negative 10, positive 10, negative 10. And look, it looks just like what we had sketched. But let's look a little closer. So I'm going to zoom, and I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to zoom in at 0, 0. So I'm going to hit Enter here. Now when I zoom in, do you notice something? It crosses at negative 2, negative 1, and positive 1. Now, hmm, this looks kind of strange. It looks like this side is over a little bit. So let's find our local max and our local min. To do that, we're going to do second calc, and I'm going to look for my local max first. So I'm going to go down to 4 and hit Enter. Now I need to bring my cursor way over to the left side of where the maximum point is. This will take a minute here. And anywhere to the left is great, so I hit Enter. Now I go to the right side of that max point, hit Enter, and just enter for your guess. So my local maximum is at negative 1.5 and 0.63 is the y. So it's almost exactly halfway between there, but not quite. So let's try our local min. So we're going to do second calc, minimum this time, which is 3. I'm going to go way over because we got, I need to enter to the left side and now to the right side of that minimum point. So I hit enter and just enter for guess. And point one, point two one is my x value and y equals negative 2.11. Now what's interesting about that is I would have guessed that my local minimum would have been exactly be halfway between negative 1 and 1, which would have been at 0, but it's not. So that's kind of interesting. Let's see how close our sketch is. When we go into y equals, I already put our equation in there. Now I'm going to graph it. This is my standard viewing window. Looks like we have our x-intercepts right, but look it, it only goes a little bit above the x-axis and way down below the x-axis. So let's see what those local maximums and minimums are. First, I want to get the whole picture, so I need to go way down on my x-axis. So I'm going to click Window. I'm going to go down to my Y min, and I'm going to change it to negative 20, just to see if that's going to work. So now I'm going to graph it. Wow, it goes even farther than negative 20. So let's go back to my window, and let's make it negative 50. Okay, negative 50 and graph it again. Well, there it is. We can see it. But with this view, do you see it looks like it just skirts along the x-axis? But really, we know it goes above the x-axis. So as long as we can see the whole picture, let's find this minimum point first. It's going to be the easiest one. So I'm going to do second calc and go down to minimum, hit enter, and it's pretty close. So I'm going to hit enter to the left side of that minimum point hit enter to the right side and enter again. And there's my minimum. My minimum is when x equals 0.85 and when y equals negative 40. Wow, it's way down. We would have never guessed it had gone down that far when we sketched it. So now what I'm going to do is actually um, go back, zoom to z, z standard because I want to find this local max since we already found the local min. So I'm going to do second calc, max, hit enter. Now my cursor is way, way down where we were before, so I'm going to bring it up to the left side of that point, hit enter, to the right side or right bound, hit enter and enter again. So my local maximum is when x is negative 3.5 and when y is 1.6. So that's pretty close between negative 4 and negative 3, but not quite exactly halfway. Be sure to check out www.pycrust.com for lots of worksheets with the solutions.